other model, actor, and now WBFF world fitness model champion. I'm talking about this guy, me, <laughs> James Ellis. James, I'm gonna shake your hand again. Yeah. We were on stage a couple of weeks ago and uh, you walked away with the title, yeah. world fitness model title there. How does that feel? Dude, it feels incredible. I mean, amazing experience. I mean, I can't say enough about it. I had to walk off after this guy, you know, he took the stage right before me. And I was like, I honestly said a little prayer thanking the Lord already when I realized that they stopped after him and then I was the beginning of the next class. Cause I didn't want to for that too, yeah. I, I, did, I didn't want to walk off after this ripped guy stepped on stage. I didn't want to go on right after him. So, you know, thank goodness for that. It, it worked out in my favor there. But then of course, we're both in the front stage. I watched the video, Rob elbows me and he's like, you know, so we both do that same we had, we had I elbow him again and we're both, you know, hitting that, you know, it was a pretty sick video. That's what it's all about. We had our fun on stage. Yes, you know, we had a good time. The guy won. What was the, the first thing that you went after? So I know when I came off stage, I had to go get my steak and potatoes. So what was it? Yeah. Um, for me, it was, uh, I had pizza. Probably like everybody, I had pizza and cheesecake. That was what I was looking forward to. Was it worth and it? It was totally worth it. The next, uh, I think I went back to the room around 3, 3.30 in the morning. Mom and Dad stayed with me, and I, I'm looking in the mirror, and like my veins are like popping like out of my arms, and I literally woke my parents up. I'm like, check this out, these veins are crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, you know, looking to get in shape. Like I like to be in shape all year round, cover ready all the time. So I'm always on a really relatively clean diet. But what's important also is getting your cheat meals in. As Rob knows, you know, if you keep doing the same diet all the time, it's the same as if. If you're training in the gym, doing the same workout all the time, your body will get used to it. So you gotta switch it up. You know, you gotta throw a cheat meal in every once in a while because your body's gonna get used to what's healthy and forget what's bad. So be, you know, feel free once in a while, once a week or whatever. Do that cheat meal, shock your body, and then show your body what's healthy again. So step outside of that box. That's right. You know. Again. Yeah. So obviously, other than that, you know, you just uh, making sure that you know you're. Um, you know, getting that cardio in before your shoes, things like that. It's always, it's not about what your scale weight is, it's about what the mirror test says. So, so I love that. looking love in that. the mirror. So I'm sure this guy knows as well as I do. You can step on the scale, you might have lost fat, but gained muscle. So the scale's not gonna tell you what's up. What's gonna tell you what's up is the mirror, so. It's that mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the leanest of them all? <laughs> and today, last week, has been this guy, James Ellis. Yeah, James, yeah. you're making me hungry just talking about this food. So I'm gonna go find some cheesecake all right. and a pizza, and uh, hopefully get yes. my veins popping out too. So best right. of luck to you. Maybe I'll see you back on stage. I hope and so. I'm gonna ask that now, exclusive so. here on Process TV. Are you going back to defend your title for the WBFF 2012 yes. World Fitness Week? You're Paul Dillette, Paul Dillette, I'll be there, brother. You know it, Allison. You know, I'm looking forward to, hopefully, Wash Candido say he's not coming back, but you know what? I, I've heard quite a few people say they're not coming back, but you know what? You step up on stage and who knows, maybe a few other people on that stage might come back. We'll see if we can bring it and encourage more right. people. And maybe you guys too. If you train yeah. hard enough, eat clean and take your supplements, you too can be on the Paul Dillette yes. WBFF World Stage in 2012 competing and against guys. Rumor has it Chad Krause might step on stage. So oh, that's hey, just, that's just to increase the uh, competition. Yeah, it's gonna bring up the Annie a little bit, so. What an amazing day I've had here at the Joe Weeders Olympia Expo Weekend. We've met with pretty much every top fitness model, competitor, athlete, fitness icon, and even a few celebrities, certainly from my upbringing and who I looked up to into the industry. We've met with over 650 different booths here and spoke with a lot of them up close and personal, finding out some of the latest supplements and what we can expect to see from them throughout the rest of this year and in 2012. And you know what, speaking with all those models and finding out what their favorite treat meal is, is leaving me a little bit hungry. So I'm gonna leave the Las Vegas Convention Center here and go and check out some of the local cuisines and restaurants here in Las Vegas and see if I can get a nice little treat meal before seeing you guys back in Los Angeles on more shows for Process TV. See you soon.